I believe I'm Kurt Jackson. I've always painted, I've always drawn, I've always done stuff like that. But combining that with my sort of respect and love for the natural world has meant that I've got this enthusiasm for creating something that is a response to the natural world and how we fit into it, how we are changing it, how we're affecting it, how nature, the natural world, affects us. My real problem is to choose what not to paint because basically everything out there is paintable but I need more than that, I need a reason to paint it. It's rare that the projects just come out of nowhere. Normally they're ideas that have been in the back of my mind, an idea that's been building up for a little while. I refuse to have one way of working. The way I work is, is a combination of working on plein air and working in the studio. It can start in the studio and then go outside. It can start outside and work in, follow up with work in the studio. The work outside is obviously a very direct result of contact with nature or with my environment. Using um, my hands, using my feet, using um, different brushes, um, palette knives, chucking it on, scraping it off, putting it on again, pouring it on, washing it off. The elements are affecting me directly. The salt water, the mud, the vegetation, the insects, it all gets somehow combined into, into what I'm doing. Eventually getting to a situation I Either the weather's changing, the tide's moved on, but anyway, reaching a stage where I can't work it anymore. Taking it home, back to the studio. Sometimes though, I'll start in the studio with an idea because it, there's nothing worse than starting with a white surface. So I'll build up some layers and, and work, you know, prepare it in a way. Then take it out, laying down collage onto a big unstretched piece of canvas, pouring on ink, acrylic, sometimes shellac, sometimes varnish. Letting that dry, putting some more on, letting it dry, eventually getting to a state where the canvas is largely hidden and there's a resemblance. Then getting out into the place I'd planned to work, unrolling that piece of canvas with that sort of preparation on it already and getting stuck in and see what happens. But working outside is, is far less controllable. So there's a lot more accidents, a lot more spontaneity. Exciting things tend to happen, especially if you put yourself in stupid places like on the edge of the cliff, on a rusty roof that might fall through. If you put yourself in a crazy place on a ship out in the ocean, then you're at the mercy of the elements or at the mercy of, of something else besides what's on inside your head and your hands. And so more exciting things tend to happen. I want a big range, sort of an eclectic sort of mess of different mark making. I'm using layers of different media and I'm mixing different media together. So whether, whether we're talking acrylics, inks, varnishes, um, crayons, pastels, oil paint, and within each painting that's going to be a different um, proportion of one medium to another. So there's always a variety within a body of work. But eventually trying to reach that point where basically I can't think of anything else to do to it. I can't change it in any way. And then I'm trying to find that point where I put the, the final full stop, the punctuation, you know, that's it. Ding! I've done it. I want to make exciting discoveries within each painting so that the next painting it, I've moved on. There's always a sort of evolution of technique and um, result. If you've been working on something very big then I might want to work on something very small or if I've been working one type of paint then I might want to work in another type. By keeping that sort of diversity and variety going I don't find I ever become stuck.